Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Baby Storytime. I'm Miss Davina, and this is our Baby Storytime based on the Mother Goose on the Loose format. Uh, it's a time to play and interact with your baby, to do hand over hand, rhymes, finger plays, songs, um, a lot of repetition, a lot of movement, and just do what you can, what your child will tolerate. And if they don't like it the first time, try it again another time. It's amazing what they will accept and pick up as they start to get used to the repetition and anticipate what's coming. So that being said, let's go ahead and we'll start with our hello song. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? Again. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? So how are you today? The sun is shining the last couple of days, which makes Miss Davina feel a whole lot better. I love the sunshine and I love to be able to get out, excuse me, outside and walk and uh, just spend time outside. And I know winter's not over yet, but the last couple of days, the weather has um, been more conducive to being outside. So I hope you also are getting a chance to enjoy some of the beautiful weather we're experiencing right now. So this is the Mother Goose on the Loose program. We'll go ahead and start with Old Mother Goose. And remember to fly your arms, fly your baby's arms, do what they tolerate. Old Mother Goose, when she wants to wander, would fly away on her very fine gander. Old Mother Goose, when she wants to wander, would fly away on her very fine gander. Goosey Goosey Gander is a bouncing rhyme. Upstairs, downstairs, and in my ladies' chambers. And remember to lift your baby up in the air. Goosey, goosey, gander, where do you wander? Upstairs, downstairs, and in my ladies' chambers. Goosey, goosey, gander, where do you wander? Upstairs, downstairs, and in my ladies' chambers. All right, we have what? Yes, Desmond, that's right. It's our snowflakes. And we're still in winter, so we're still going to do snowflakes at least for this week. We'll probably switch it up to something different next week. So, ready? Two little snowflakes. Two little snowflakes floating through the sky. One named low, the other named high. Float away low, float away high. Drift back low, drift back high. Let's do that again. Two little snowflakes drifting through the sky. One named low, the other named high. Drift away low, drift away high. Float back low, float back high. So there's our snowflakes and hopefully they're drifting away. We may see a few more before the winter time is over and spring is here. But we're getting closer and closer to spring-like weather. So now is my book, and this is called Touch and Feel Clothes. And um, it doesn't really tell me who it's by, but this is by DK Publishing. And it has different pictures of different children and at this stage of the game babies and young children are very interested in pictures and books about other babies um, there you'll find they're very fascinated with other babies faces and they want to touch them so once they start to become aware of uh, other children they're more interested in you know, that's when you got to watch them grabbing their eyes or their mouth or whatever so but this has so 
different textures. So this is a soft, fuzzy hoodie. What color is that hoodie? That's right, it's blue. It's a light blue. What would you rather wear? A cozy, warm sweater? Some big, shiny boots. And where do your boots go? Do they go on your head? No, that's right, Cadence. The boots go on your feet. And you tell me, Zoe, what color are his shiny boots? Right, they're yellow, yellow boots. A pair of rough overalls or bibbed overalls. They're a denim, right? Or a furry pink feather in your hat. Pink, pink feather, ooh, and I like his hat. That's a pirate hat. I would love to wear a pirate hat. I like pirates. Or a soft, velvety cape. And what color is that cape? You tell me. Uh, Keegan, what color is that cape? That's right, it's red. Red. A red cape. So what's your favorite thing to wear? You tell me, do you like wearing shoes? Maybe like I have a special hat or a special scarf or favorite pair of gloves, whatever it is, what's your favorite thing to wear? Um, I'm gonna say that shoes are not Miss Davina's favorite thing to wear. I do love shoes and having all different kinds of shoes but I'd much rather be barefoot and not have to wear shoes. I'd rather wear flip-flops. So they're my favorite kind of shoe to wear all the time, but I like my sandals and everything else too. So now it's time for snowflakes, snowflakes, falling down, ready? Snowflakes, snowflakes, falling down, falling, falling to the ground. Can you catch them on your nose? Will they fall and touch your toes? Snowflakes, snowflakes falling down, falling, falling to the ground. Very good. Let's do that one more time. Ready? Again. Snowflakes, snowflakes falling down, falling, falling to the ground. Can you catch them on your nose? Will they fall and touch your toes? Snowflakes, snowflakes falling down, falling, falling to the ground. That was really good, Raina. Way to do the, find the ground and wiggle your fingers for the snowflakes. This is I Winker, Tom Tinker, and this is a tickle rhyme. So ready? I Winker, Tom Tinker, no smeller, mouth eater, chin chopper, chin chopper, great big guzzle whopper. Let's do that again, ready? I winker, Tom Tinker, no smeller, mouth eater, chin chopper, chin chopper, great big guzzle whopper! Tickle your belly! Do you have a big guzzle whopper? Oh my! And our grand old Duke of York rhyme, and we're get, again, this is a bouncing rhyme. So if they're older and they want to just jump up and down in front of you, that's completely fine as well. Ready? The Grendel Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them all the way up the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. 
Yes, very good, Zoe. Let's do that again. That's right, Desmond, again. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them all the way up the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Yay, Liam, good job, Liam. That was so good, you guys. Way to pay attention and listen and follow directions. So the repetition in this and the example that you moms and dads and special grown-ups are giving to your babies as you're interacting and joining with them uh, in all the different rhymes and activities because they need to see you doing it too. You are one of their best and first teachers and when they see you, they learn by imitation. So now, yes, very good. It's time for rum, pum, pum. Rum, pum, pum. This is my drum. Rum, pum, pum. This is my drum. My name is Davina. How many beats in Miss Davina's name? Davina. Yes, Keegan, you tell me. That's right, there's three beats. Davina. Three beats. Davina. How many beats in your name, Zoe? Ready? Hi, my name is Davina. What's your name? And you would say, my name is Zoe. Hi, Zoe. There are two beats in your name, Zoe. That's right. So how many beats are, how many syllables are in your name? You tell me. Now it's time to get our instruments out. And again, moms and dads, special grown-ups, you should probably be joining in with them. Play right along. And that's one of the things that's wonderful when we're in person is Miss Davina has all kinds of instruments that we can all play together. But I have my bells. You can have anything as an instrument. You can even just use your hands and clap or your feet and stomp. That's okay. So ready? We play our instruments together. We play our instruments together. We play our instruments together because it's fun to do. We play our instruments together. We play our instruments together. We play our instruments together because it's fun to do. We play them up. High. We play them down. Tell me, Zoe. That's right, he's slow. And then Mother Kitchen Clock is a little bit faster. And Keegan, how does Brother's Little Watch go? Really, 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 really fast. So remember, use your listening ears. Here we go. Grandfather Clock goes tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Mother's kitchen clock goes tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Brother's little watch goes tick 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 Could you stop? Good job. Good listening. Let's do that again. Grandfather clock goes tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Mother's kitchen clock goes tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Brother's little watch goes tick 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 tick
That was good. All right, guys, you did an awesome job on that. Let's go ahead and do our 10 little snowflakes. Ready? And we're gonna catch them on our tongue, our hat. Very good. Yes, Raina, our hat, our mittens, and our boots. And then we're gonna put them all together. So ready, here we go. One little, two little, three little snowflakes, four little, five little, six little snowflakes, seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes, ten little snowflakes falling on my tongue. One little, two little, three little snowflakes, four little, five little, six little snowflakes, seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes, ten little snowflakes falling on my hat. One little, two little, three little snowflakes, four little, five little, six little snowflakes, seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes, ten little snowflakes falling on my mittens. How many fingers? There's ten fingers in your mitten. Go on your hands, on your fingers. Very good. One little, two little, three little snowflakes, four little, five little, six little snowflakes, seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes, ten little snowflakes falling on my boots. Show me your boots. Yes, there's your boots. Where do your boots go, Liam? On your feet. Good job. Ready? We're going to put them all together now. One little, two little, three little snowflakes, four little, five little, six little snowflakes, seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes, ten little snowflakes falling on my tongue, hat, mittens, boots. Yay! That was so good. Thank you. And remember, when it, the nice thing about sign language is we can count on one hand. So for those of you who may be joining us for the first time, we do incorporate some basic sign language into our story time. And to count from one to 10, it's one, two, three, and we do a three like this because this is a W in sign language. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10 is thumb up and shake it. You guys did such a great job on that. And don't ever be worried that it's too early to do sign with your babies. Babies pick up some basic signs before they even begin to speak, and it actually helps them develop spoken language more quickly. So um, it all works together and helps with early literacy. And it also helps alleviate some of the frustration and not being able to get their uh, wants and needs and desires across. Because sometimes we just don't know what they need or want. And if they have a way to tell us, it helps make them feel a little better as well. So let's go ahead and do our shh. Ready? Shh, 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 shh. There you go, good. Let's do it again. Yep, good job. You have to listen. We shake as hard as you can and then we're gonna get really quiet. So let's do that one more time. That was so good. It's time to put our instruments away and get our scarves out. So here we go. Instruments away, instruments away. It's time to put our instruments away. Instruments away, instruments away. It's time to put our instruments away. Get our scarves. Miss Davina's got a what color scarf? Purple, and she's wearing a purple vest and different cut shades of purple. Purple is what? Right, Zoe? It's Miss Davina's favorite color. So what's your favorite color? You tell me. But my scarf is purple, and yours could be a scarf. It could see how I can see through. And that's another way um, with babies. Sometimes if you can't see through it, they get a little scared, but they love to play peekaboo. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our scarf song, and then we're going to go right into peekaboo. So 
Scarves, oh scarves, oh scarves, I say. What are we going to play today? Scarves, oh scarves, oh scarves, I say. What are we going to play today? Wind, oh wind, oh wind, I say. Why are you blowing my scarves away? Wind, oh wind, oh wind, I say. Why are you blowing my scarf away? Ready? And sometimes the wind is really whipping and you have to hang on to your hat and your scarf and everything else. Let's try that one more time. Get your whiffer out. Ready? <sighs> wow! That went really far. That was pretty cool. So now we're going to play peekaboo. I see you. And this is to the tune of Are You Sleeping? Or Farajaka. Neither one is correct. Ready? Peek-a-boo, peek-a-boo. I see you, I see you. I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes. I see you, peek-a-boo. Peek-a-boo, peek-a-boo. I see you. I see you, I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes, I see you, peek-a-boo, peek I see you, I see you sitting there, where's your nose, show me your nose, peek I see your nose, very good, Raina, peek show me your toes, Cadence. Yes, there's your toes down there. And you also have 10 toes. Peekaboo! I see you. What color is my bus? Yes, it's in yellow. And it's a yellow school bus, right? And how do the wheels on the bus go? Round and round. So help me sing my song. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. The what? The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back, all through the town. The windows on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The windows on the bus go up and down all through the town. The mommies on the bus go shh, 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 shh. The mommies on the bus go shh, 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 all through the town. Very good. That was excellent. So now we're going to do put your scarves up. Hi, right, and grown-ups, don't be afraid to change the sound of your voice to match the direction that the word is implying. So high, low, front, back. We need to, um, that all that ties into uh, identifying the action, the word, the, the picture of the word, the sound of the word, the motion of the word. It all helps 
uh, interact and in their brains and um, triggers the early literacy learning for your baby in the middle of play. Put your scarves up. Hi! Yes, Zoe! Put your scarves down. Hello! Put your scarves in the middle and wiggle them just so. Yes, Dominic. Put your scarves in the front. Put your scarves in the back. Right, Zoe? Put your scarves on your tummy and clap, clap, clap. Yes. And you guys all clap for yourself. Ready? Yay. Let's do that again. Put your scarves up. Put your scarves down low. Put your scarves in the middle and wiggle them just so. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Put your scarves in the front. Put your scarves in the back. Put your scarves on your tummy and clap, clap, clap. Very good. So now it's time to put your scarves away. And it's time where we sing our lullaby. And this again will probably be um, one of the last weeks we'll sing this song as a lullaby. We'll go ahead and we'll switch it up next time. Possibly, we'll see. Um, but again, remember any song can be a lullaby it's, if it's songs sung softly and gently. And sometimes quietly, it doesn't necessarily have to be quiet, but um, any song can uh, help soothe and calm just depending on the manner that you do it. And we're gonna sing it first in German and then in English. And if your child will allow you to, hold them on their lap and kind of rock gently back and forth. Guten Abend, good night. Mit was and bedacht. Mit mir klein bestet. Schlumpf unter deinen Morgen früh, wenn Gott will, wirst du wieder gehen. Morgen früh, wenn Gott will, wirst du wieder gehen. Lullaby and good night with pink roses bedight with lilies all spread is my baby sweet lady down now in rest may thy slumber be blessed. Lay thee down now in rest. May thy slumber be blessed. What's next, Zoe? Right. It's Humpty Dumpty. And remember, this helps practice waiting turns, listening for instruction, and following direction, um, which all is important in literacy and understanding what's next, and then hearing their name in a positive light at the end. So the object of this, Miss Davina's gonna do it once, and then you do it on your, your uh, time and help Miss Davina. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Yay, Miss Davina. Okay, now it's your turn. And I don't know what your name is, so you all help me. I don't know which one of you are listening or watching. We're just going to say you. Ready? Here we go. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Yay! 
So that concludes our baby story time for today. We will be back next week. And again, if you're unable to join us live, you may always find our YouTube Playlist channel out on our YouTube channel for the library. So just go to our library website, unioncountylibraries.org, click on the events calendar and the baby story time tab. And then there's a link directly to the playlist for baby story time. And you can go back and watch as many as you want uh, over and over again or whatever you want to do, just bits and pieces, that's fine. And my email is there. So if you want to let Miss Davina know that you're watching or say hi or ask a question, please give me an, an email and I will do my best to respond as quickly as possible. So let's go ahead and we'll sing our goodbye song. And remember for babies, it's a lot of times it's easier for them to wave goodbye like this or hello, that's the same, but, or like this is fine. So we're gonna do this one today, but they can wave however they want to. Ready? We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye to all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands like this. We clap our hands like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We clap our hands like this. Yay! Thank you for helping Miss Davina sing her songs today. It was so nice to see you, and I hope you'll join us next time. And I will say goodbye for this week. Get outside and enjoy the sunshine while you can. And I will see you next Friday. Bye.